Well, it is Sunday evening. I'm in Bullhead City. I haven't eaten since this morning. Oh my god, I do have food in my cooler. Jeez. I actually don't need to go get food, but... I see all these lights and these they're just flashing and blinking and it's like, yay! You know me, I'm like five, man. I see blinking lights, I'm like, who's shiny? Nah, it's totally, it's Pisces full moon, man. It's totally Pisces second full moon, actually. So, this is the actual, you remember the first Pisces full moon about a month ago? Man, so, I packed my crap up in my car, literally having like a nervous freaking breakdown. Oh my gosh, just about life, and, and shit, life's going great. I'm like, but, uh, but yeah, 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 so I totally packed up my car and I left. Drove up to pace it and stuff, went camping for the weekend, but I don't know, I, I, I went home. I was like, nah, I should go back home. So I totally went back home and stayed working and everything, but I totally, like, everything started falling apart a week ago. And so for the last three days I spent in uh, Sedona, which was amazing, by the way. I met some amazing people, had some really great conversations, just wow. Wow, God is alive. God is so alive, guys. Seriously, wow. And here I am in Bullhead tonight, on my way to NorCal. Man. You guys, I can't even tell you just like the synchronicities and just everything just lining up. It's amazing. I'm terrified though, but I don't know. I, I feel just like this peace. It's stupid to explain. It's nothing, you know, wow. I don't know. And knowing what I know now, like I won't make the mistakes that I made the last time I left. You know what I mean? Like there, there were totally like the lack of emotional stability causes like the lack of mental abilities. It, it, it cripples them. So, you know what I mean? You, you, your emotions run your life at that point. They literally, you'll do anything to, to, to satiate those. But knowing, not knowing now that like that's not how we need to be, we can totally choose to be another way. It's, it's a lot easier this way too. So like uh, no more doing things the hard way, you know, I'm sure I'll still find hard ways to do things. Trust me. That's just me. I've done things the hard way my entire life, but God says he's got something else up his sleeve. So I don't know. I'm just going to go by faith and enjoy this trip. Just like we all should, right? We all got to anyways. We all got to go by faith anyways. I mean, shit, it could be over a second from now. Literally. It could literally be over. I hope everybody lives their life to the fullest extent. Because it literally can be over any second. It's such a beautiful world. We spend so much time just working. <laughs> just working. Like, our kids grow old, like, before we even know it. Like, they're... They don't want to hang out. They don't want to do anything. Not with us anyways. They got other things to do. And we teach them to be so busy. So what can we what can we do? You know what I mean? Like we do it to ourselves. We just don't realize it. And they don't want us to know this. Trust me, they do not want you knowing that you can just go do whatever the hell you want. You do not have to stay a part of the system. That God will take care of you. You will have everything that you need, as always. Your mother is faithful to take the energy that she receives from the Father, who goes and does and conquers the universe, universes, and brings home the bacon. And our mother just totally divvies it out to all the beings on the earth, right? They totally take that away when they destroyed the family unit, you know what I mean? The children don't grow up seeing that, and so they don't know that our father 
everything spiritual is is explained and everything natural if it's with nature god god has some like inner workings in it that we could literally find science is just is just spirit revealed that's literally all it is evolution and uh spirit evolution and what is that creation both work together but I digress but hey you guys have a wonderful evening I'm gonna go and get me some dinner in this beautiful town we'll meet some people have some fun not too much fun don't do anybody I wouldn't do I mean anything I wouldn't do that's yeah yeah you know gotta watch out for things like that totally trip you up on a godly walk man damn Delilah always sneaking up on you <laughs> fucking Jezebel <laughs> but yeah yeah you guys have a wonderful evening man I will see y'all in the morning love and light you guys <laughs>